Well, it looks like we have another lovely day here in Chicago. Much sunnier and nicer than it was yesterday. As you can see the sun and below the sun right over here. As I zoom in, that is Soldier Field. And the bears are not in there today on this Sunday afternoon. And that's because they are in Minnesota playing the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> kind of strange that I would come here on that particular week. What a beautiful city this is. Well, hello there, and welcome to yet another beautiful day for an adventure. I am in front of the Shed Aquarium here in Chicago. I love aquariums. I've been to Sea Life in the Mall of America. I've been to Duluth in their aquarium, Branson, Missouri. And now in Chicago, I'm excited to see what this place is all about. If you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go see what there is to see. Wow, what a great location. There's Chicago right there with the plane flying overhead. And that is the Shed Aquarium with this guy holding a huge fish. <laughs> he caught one that big, yes he did. And so here's where we came in. And just to let you know, if you are coming to the Shed, they do check IDs and then proof of vaccination as well. So we came through the elevators to come up to the main lobby and oh my gosh this place is enormous they've got the Christmas theming going on this is definitely the biggest aquarium <laughs> I've been to so far holy cow look at that architecture unbelievable well this place is definitely on point for the entrance and then when we go inside we've got the Caribbean Reef and it looks like they've got all sorts of different sections that you can check out there's reptiles down there there's I don't know what we're all in store here for today but let's start with the Caribbean Reef or Caribbean however you want to say it I'm not gonna argue you say Caribbean I say Caribbean or vice versa Look at these guys. Oh, look at it. Wow. And they've got the music going on in the background. It feels like I'm in Jamaica right now. Look at this guy. Hello, sir. This is awesome. Oh, look, they have a shark up there. A hammerhead. And one over there, too. There's sharks in this one. Look at this guy coming over. It's nice because it's almost like you don't really have to look around. Fish just come right to you. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's what I love about aquariums. Just such unique, interesting animals. So different and fun <laughs> swimming around. Look at this guy. I wonder what kind of fish that is. He's beautiful. Or she. We've got a stingray. Oh man. Is he going to eat that thing? <laughs> Looks like he's going to take a chomp out of that plant life there. I'm going to zoom in and see if we can get a good look at his little chompers there. Look at that. He's got some nice little teeth right there. Whoa, hey buddy. <laughs> Coming in for us close up there. Look, there's one right up there too. He's huge. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that turtle. He's swimming kind of funky. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, I don't know if there's something wrong with them. 
or if it's just top heavy. And now we are entering the reptile section. And here is a Chinese crocodile lizard. Can you find him? He can be difficult to spot. He blends right in with the branch there. And he's staying very, very still. What a cute little guy. Here are some fish that you would find in the Asian and Indian rivers. So let's take a look here. Look at how small those guys are. Very tiny little fish. <laughs> Compared to the big ones we saw in the other tank. Holy cow. Beautiful. And this cool guy here, it's not a shark, that is a paddlefish. I thought it was like a sawfish. But it is not, it's a paddlefish. Very cool. Oh wow, look at this Australian turtle swimming right towards the camera. That's one thing I love about turtles. They're always camera friendly. They'll always come up and show themselves off. This is what I look like. Very cool. Hello, welcome to Tommy Travels. He says, I'm just swimming here in the land down under, <laughs> making fun of your terrible accent. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have a 4D experience here. They had one in Branson, it was awesome. So we gotta check this one out too. Although I won't be able to film it, but uh, I can tell you about it. And so we have our ticket to the 4D experience. We are gonna see the octopus one. And we've got a little time. It starts at 3.20, it's about quarter to three right now. So we're gonna look around a little bit more and come back. In the meantime, let's check out the Abbott Oceanarium. Wow, look at this habitat. This is the Abbott Oceanarium. And we are about to maybe see some penguins down there along with some sea lions and who knows what else. This is just fantastic. And look at over here, they've got a dolphin feeding going on. She just fed one there. She's got one over there that she's been feeding. Look at that. That is amazing. Beautiful Lake Michigan in the background. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. <laughs> There's one over here too. Getting fed. Oh my gosh. I could look at this all day. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Making some sound for the camera over there. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I'm glad they came down here. <laughs> oh, cool. And it looks like they have a whole auditorium back here where they do shows. I thought I just saw something jump over there. Wow. There are definitely some dolphins swimming around in this pool, but it's kind of hard to catch them. <laughs> we'll see if we can get one on camera here quick. Oh, right, see? <laughs> there's one right in that general vicinity, and there's one right here too. There! This is so cool. All of a sudden they just jump out <laughs> when you least expect it. Just gonna keep it in this general area because there's quite a few of them over here. There's one swimming right down there. Oh, see? That is awesome. What are these guys? 
beluga whales. Beluga whales? You one thing to see is make sure to keep this on this side of the glass oh. and you don't want anything to fall into the Very glass. good, thank you. Yeah, sure. Wow! Look at this, you guys. Those are beluga whales. We got a few of them swimming around here. Holy cow! Look at that! Absolutely amazing! Wow! When I woke up this morning, I did not think I would be seeing a camera full of beluga whales. That is just absolutely incredible. We are now entering the polar play zone. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to be cold waters down here. It's cool. They have starfish in here and we can pet them. Look at that guy. Oh, it's rough and slimy at the same time. That is amazing. We've got all these other ones over here. Let's pet this guy. Hi, buddy. Oh, the water's freezing cold. Oh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. This brings us to an underwater view of the beluga whales. And look how close up they get. That is incredible. Look at those guys. One right down there. Those are huge. Wow. Water for the dolphins. There's one that just went by through there. There's another one kind of swimming around back there. You can barely see them. They are fast guys. And of course, we have the penguins. Everybody's favorite. Some up there sunbathing, having a nice day. This guy just floating in the water saying, I'm, I'm having a great day here in Chicago. So much fun. Oh, look at that guy swimming by. Are they birds? They are so fun. Some over there. That guy, should I get in? Should I should I stay here? Should I get in? I don't know. <laughs> I'll stay here. And now we are entering the icy north. Look at this submarine. It just looks freezing cold down here. Look at that. Wonder what we're in for on this level. Ah, uh, yes, jellyfish. Love me some jellyfish. As in every adventure, I always call them the lava lamp of the sea. Incredibly mesmerizing. Look at those. And here's the entrance to my 4D experience. Here's the theater. Look at that huge screen. Comfy seats. I've got my 4D glasses. This should be fun. They just sprayed a bunch of bubbles for the grand finale. That was, that was amazing. Got some bubbles floating around here, everywhere. Well, that was really super fun. I still have my 3D glasses on and uh, what a fun time. As you can see, they had bubbles coming down when we went underwater. Uh, there's little jets of air that spray underneath your seat and a few drops of water. <laughs> the seats rumble. Uh, and at one point they showed above the, the ocean and uh, lights kind of got brighter in here. You could feel the air breeze and um, they put a, a scent in the air to feel like an ocean breeze. It was really neat. So if you come here to the Shed Aquarium, this is something you definitely have to take advantage of. And it's only like five bucks to do it, so it's really, really worth it. And then of course they've got a gift store, Christmas tree penguins, <laughs> penguin t-shirts, coffee mugs, other t-shirts. What do they have over here? Oh, a whirlpool lamp. You've heard of the lava lamp. Now we have the Whirlpool Land. There's that one, you can get one of these. One of these. All sorts of cool things around here. 
And so here at the shed, if you want to have a bag to bring your stuff, they don't have paper or plastic. You do have to buy a bag. But that's okay. I got a couple of magnets for my good buddy Robert. And my best friend Alice loves rock candy, so I got her one of these as well. So it's all worth it. It's all good. And I got these same two magnets for my fridge at home. And so now we're entering the wild reef. Dive right in and here's the entrance. What are we in for over here? This is our shark exhibit. Oh my goodness. We're gonna go ahead and start you off here with a quick photo right before you enter and check out the shark right in there, okay? Okay, sounds good, thank you. No problem. And as we enter this exhibit, we see the shoreline surf area where they have some tropical fish of all kinds. They show them what they are here. But look at these beautiful guys. It's just mesmerizing to watch. And this is the coral reef that they have set up in here. And it says, don't think of the coral reef as one big animal. Often it's a formation of many teeny tiny animals working together. Each coral animal or polyp has its own mouth, tentacles, and even sex cells. We'll just, we're not gonna hunt for the sex cells, but they're in there somewhere. <laughs> you know, when I was in Branson, I saw one, one guy just kind of hanging out by himself in his own little area. Just like, everybody stay away from me. I'm good. I'm just relaxing, had a long day. <laughs> I just wanna chill. <laughs> I think I met your brother, sir, just a, a couple months ago. Welcome to Tommy Travels. We've got an amazing huge wall and then skylights in the ceiling to even see the fish swimming above you. How amazing is that? Wow, that is one giant school of fish there. Look at these big guys. Holy cow. Everything about this place is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and of course, the highlight of any good aquarium, we have sharks, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. Look, there's all ones way up there. We've got some other fish swimming around with them. That is so fun. Look at that. Swimming right by. Wow. It's a huge tank of water. Oh, there's one right up there. This guy's going to swim right by us. I love it when fate works out like that. <laughs> oh, here's another one swimming right by us, too. Man, those are big. They're actually bigger than what they look like. Oh, look at this guy right here. The water actually makes them look a little bit smaller than what they actually are. It's kind of an optical illusion. But look at that. <laughs> See the, water, the light coming in? That's kind of a cool shot with the rays of light beaming into the pool. This beautiful guy. Well, as you guys know, I always like to end these things on a water feature. And this one is perfect here at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. And look at out those windows. You can kind of see that is Lake Michigan, the ultimate water feature. And if you guys like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. This was an absolute blast checking this place out. From the grand entrance to the 4D ride to all the animals we got to see. This is definitely a place to go if you visit Chicago. Thank you all so much for the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, from the Shed Aquarium, I hope to catch you on the flip side.